how can I take a unit of competency and use Coursebox to convert that into an interactive course and more importantly address my assessment requirements. So here's an example of a unit and what we're going to do is just go through the steps together. So if we go to description of your course, first thing to do is give it the name but that's not all we need. We also want to grab the elements and performance criteria and our prompt can be something like this with the structure and we want a little bit more in our description so I've just pasted in that structure we might even say the foundation skills there we go I've pasted those in and what about assessment requirements well we've got to address all of this and in the quizzes and assessments we need to address those requirements so now I've got a really good description of my course I'll go to next now we can train our AI on existing content now please note that any documents you upload it's going to use DaVinci to train the AI a bit like a knowledge base for its brain so that means it's not going to copy and paste your content into a course page, for example, because AI is simply not allowed to do that. Uh, it's going to create a structure and write original content, but it will be using your content as the base. Now, there's two ways to do it. We combine with ChatGPT knowledge base or turn that off and it's only going to use your content. You only turn it off though if you've pre-trained it with quite or enough content to match your course description and structure and 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 step four as well like uh, if, if you're building a lot of pages you can also train it on a website so that's useful we might as well just grab this URL for this page web page paste it in fetch that <clears throat> and again you can see the difference I think between a rich description of your course structure and step two which is training it so we've done that now if you've got any YouTube links that have got closed caption videos in the right settings you can paste those in and you can upload files as well we're gonna to go to step three describe your learner so what sort of learner might be doing manage project human resources be as descriptive again as you can because this is going to impact the way it writes assessments and it will personalize it to that learner so if we say it's an adult learner at TAFE in South Australia that's obviously going to be different to what's what's shown here high school children in a business so maybe we'll start with that TAFE students completing a cert four in business in South Australia so the more specific you can be the better the outcome or it can be more general depends uh, on your learner requirements course structure now the default here is showing seven lessons and a lesson think of that like a chapter in a book and that chapter is made up of pages now we call the page a topic of learning so seven times seven is 49 and then we're going to have a quiz and an assessment at the end of every lesson so in fact uh, that, those are unique pages as well so it's seven times nine you might want to increase or decrease that now the way to do it is probably to align how many elements you've got so we've got four elements so why don't we say four lessons and we'll give it four core learning objectives so one for each lesson for one element and then how many topic pages are we going to select well you could do more but it looks like four could cover it uh, you might want to extend that depending on how much writing you want to do and then that's going to come down to how many words are on a topic page as well. So the default is 250, you can bump that up. AI is not perfect at counting words, by the way, but it gives it a rough idea. Uh, and how many quiz questions will we have in each of our quizzes? Or do we want more quizzes? You know, you could say two quizzes at the end of every lesson uh, with three uh, quiz questions, or you might want to change that to 10 or, or something. So today I'll just sit at five. 
an assignment is basically a case study and this is really good for formative ongoing assessment of learners especially because we build a rubric and then auto grade giving feedback with AI now you can turn that off if you want to manually grade uh, but uh, it's on by default so you can bump that up as well if you want more of those case study assignments or we call them scenario but it's a good deep dive for learners and click next and there we have it so we've got the course title written with a description and this will form the landing page uh, and you'll see what I mean even in the description it's really sticking closely to the learner now you can edit this page as you wish and the first overview section is really a high level introduction for learners going through objectives competencies what are the practical applications of this course some further reading and it uses a google api to select some links but of course you need to check everything including links that are recommended by AI and by Google. Then it starts going into the actual uh, plan. So this is a great step and I always recommend that you spend some time, especially if it's important to map against uh, the unit of competency uh, in an RTO scenario, get out a spreadsheet and you can start mapping that. So the first element, plan human resources relevant to projects, planning human resources to projects. So very closely aligned there implementing project personnel training and development very similar leading project teams lead project teams but you'll see that it is original content but because i was so specific in the description it's aligning very closely not just to the elements but also the performance criteria and then it's a question of making sure that the quizzes align with the content well it's going to align with what's trained in each lesson because that's the way the algorithm works and same with the assignments uh, but it is important again to just carefully check that it's picked up everything and if not just add in another quiz label it as you wish so on the right let's let's label another quiz in exactly that way just copy and paste that in if, if that's the way to do it or you might want to edit that and it's going to generate that quiz for us so we'll scroll down and when, when you're absolutely happy with your high-level design, save and generate lessons. Because this next step, it's actually going to spend another 10, 20 minutes or so writing every page, depending on how big your course is. <coughs> now you'll see on the left, it's again just parsed exactly that course structure. And that's why it's really important to get that exactly how you want it. Uh, it's going to recommend some images at this stage, but if you find these pixels stock images are not useful, just remove it and, and upload your own images uh, or videos. Uh, in fact, while I'm here, I'll just say that this is a really cool API integration we have with Synthesia. Just put in your Synthesia key here and confirm the script and it will create an AI presenter for your course page. And you can do that on each page once it's confirmed convert text to video come back 10 minutes later and you'll see that video is ready longer term we are building our own text to video creation tool uh, and likewise with the chat base chat bot if you go to publish settings anytime and click on ai tutor this is where you can layer in uh, an i you can just paste in an iframe from chat base or another chat bot and, and train that chat bot and then you've got your own uh, AI tutor, which will appear on each page for your learners. If we go to RTO resources, this is an interesting way to publish a course. You can publish a course as an iframe and you'll see that I've just embedded it here on the page. Now I'm logged in as an admin, so you'll see I've got editor rights, but a learner will just be able to jump in here and test it out. So if you have a chance, jump in and have a look and you'll see what a course looks like as a learner. Be sure to log in as a, a new learner. And here we go, you can see we've got a Synthesia video. In this case, I've generated that in Synthesia and added in some, like the unit name on the left and then just uploaded that. 
One thing we haven't talked about is this horn, so learners can click that any time and it will read out the text. And on the right, uh, you can see an example of a, a chat base chatbot. Thanks very much.